So we can see all oh, the destruction. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. Okay. This is pretty, pretty crazy. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in quite a long time. We are going to be throwing a bunch of vehicles off the cliff. If you don't know what the cliff is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is a giant cliff with one purpose and one purpose only. You're supposed to drive the cars off the cliff and hopefully reach the beach at the bottom in one piece. But I don't think that's going to happen. If you aren't aware, um, the cliff here is pretty much everybody's first experience with Beam and G Drive. We had like the grid map when the first g the game first came out. We had like the grid map and I think a couple other ones. But the cliff was the big boy. The thing you go to test the physics of Beam and G Drive. So I th it's kind of like a throwback Thursday, I guess. I, I mean, I know it's not Thursday. It's Saturday, but... It doesn't matter. I've wanted to do this again for for a long time. It's been too long, so we're just gonna start throwing. <laughs> it never gets old, man. We're gonna start throwing cars down the cliff. I get that question a lot. If Beam and G ever gets old, and like, it, it just doesn't, man. I mean, just watching this, it, it's just something to me that never gets old. Watching cars crash just never uh, gets old to me. This D series though is actually holding up pretty well. I must say, I mean, it's basically destroyed, flattened, you're dead, uh, ten times over, but you can still tell it's a D series, right? I mean, look how far we just fell. This is a, this is a long way. You can't even see where I started falling from. It's way the heck up there, so I'd say... <laughs> D series for scale. I'd say that's that's pretty good. So let's try. I kind of want to try out a newer uh, vehicle here just to see, uh, you know, maybe um, like a newer car has newer safety standards, right? So, you know, maybe uh, it'll end up a little bit better. Let's try the electric one, like the top of its class, probably uh, all the technology to, to make sure you survive falling off a cliff. Let's see if it actually well, actually helps. Here. This is a very expensive car, so I should feel bad. But, you know, in reality, it's just ones and zeros anyway. So what's the big deal? But, uh, yeah, so far, ooh, so far it's holding up pretty freaking good. I actually should probably try one uh, with a roll cage. I mean, either way, just the sheer amount of G-force is going to kill you here. But I, I'm just curious to see if the car can come out looking okay. It's still got one tire, man. So it's still doing pretty good, but basically pretty thoroughly uh, destroyed here, but yeah, <laughs> this thing <laughs> is absolutely wrecked. So, let's try one with a roll cage. So, oh, I thought my, my cars were not going to load for a second. So, let's try a car with a roll cage here. So, I'm thinking, um, maybe a sunburst, maybe like the hill climb edition sunburst. That is a pretty beefy roll cage. So, this, this thing should actually, uh, look pretty okay. Uh, when we get to the bottom, I mean, it's not going to be, I mean, it's not going to be drivable, obviously. Oh, God. <laughs> a little bit of air there. Oh, yo, keep on going, man. We still got all our tires. We're doing good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's still holding its shape, though. Dang it. Okay, yeah, the roll cage is doing its job, but how much can it, like, actually take? Oh, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, I think we're okay, though. The, look at the engine bouncing around, man. Oh, man. It's been too long since I've just had a video where I just... I don't even care about uh, having, like, a plan. I just throw stuff off a mountain. How much... How much better... How much better? How much greater could it get? Anyway, let's drop it out of the sky this time. Like, maybe over here. Because there's a lot of different faces to this mountain. So let's drop it... Like right here. And I think I'm actually going to throw a couple cars off at the same time. I think that sounds like a lot of fun, too. I made a video a while back uh, on this map with the... Uh, I actually don't remember what the car was called. It almost looks like a Piccolina, but it wasn't. And it had dummies in it. And there was like a... I, would, I, I threw like 10 of them off the mountain. There's just dummy parts flying everywhere. It was hilarious. If you guys want to see uh, a part two to that video... I just lost the engine. <laughs> If you, if you guys want to see a part two to that video, uh, let me know. Because uh, I would definitely love to do a part two to that. Look at that engine, man! 
Off into the ocean it goes, and oh man, this car is not doing so hot. <laughs> Dare I go in first person? Oh god, this, okay. Uh, fair warning, if you get motion sick, probably don't watch. Tur avert your eyes for a second, but I just wanted to see. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't even tell where we are. Oh man, like, I mean... If you're immune to the G-forces, you might you might be okay here. <laughs> the roll cage is doing its job. It seems to be buckling a little bit over there. Oh man, we are moving right now. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I think we finally made it into the sand. Of course, upside down. Oh, we made it into the water. So if you survive that, now you get to drown. Well, doesn't look like the driver's seat's in the water, but if you had a passenger and he's still in the car, drowned. All right, so I'm actually going to... I want to spawn up a couple of these here, so let's... Oh. <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, no. Okay. All right, let's manage, and let's clone this. So we have two of them, and then let's put this up into the air. I don't know why it spawned it there. Let's put this one up into the air as well, maybe like right next to it. There we go. And you know what? Let's clone this one. Why the heck not? Let's just make three of them. Uh, so there we go, and... Clone. Yes, I don't know why this, it's changing positions there. Anyway, let's get this one up in the air as well. And then we can just sit back and relax and watch the destruction. So here we go. Three cars dropping from the sky. Here we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. Still to this day, look at all the parts flying everywhere. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so freaking cool. Oh, they almost hit each other. Oh, okay, that one's going a different way. This one is just bouncing all over the place. Hold on, let's get down here. Yes. Here comes the other one, finally, and then just a shower of parts. Oh, man, they're already down to the bottom? I guess we could do like a, it's like a race, kind of. That one's going way into the ocean. Here's the other one. Where's the other one? There he is, coming in hot in third place. But he's still, he's got some momentum. And into the ocean. They all made it into the ocean that time. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, um, next, you know what? Let's, let's get something a little bit bigger here. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the school bus. Which school bus, though? I feel like I use this one a lot. So, let's go to the Dansworth C1500. And, uh, maybe, where's, like, the fully stocked one? Two pass, six passengers? Yeah, why the heck not? Let's try it out. Hopefully, it doesn't tank my frame rates, uh, a ton. Uh, but if it doesn't, this should be interesting. Okay, good news, it didn't tank my frame rates. And there's, there's dummies inside here. <laughs> ah, there's a face in front of me, get out of there, ew, you're gross, okay. Um, I want, I want like a, I want to see inside, is there like a better camera here? I mean, this is pretty good. Let's see what it looks like from the inside, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, okay, there went our frame rates. Okay, we should probably slow this down a little bit. All right, so let's see what's happening here. The bus actually holding together. <laughs> Please let this be a normal field trip <laughs> with the friends. Go away, cruising on down Main Street. <laughs> Relax, I'm feeling good. I am going insane, guys. I'm sorry about that. Oh my God, the frame rates. Ugh. Overall, though, I got to say, uh, pretty, pretty good. A little flat, uh, in, in, in the top section there, but besides that, uh, pretty much, pretty much okay. So let's spawn up all our other ones so we can get, like, an ensemble here. There we go. All right, so, two cars and a school bus. How is this going to go down? I don't know. Let's find out, though. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit here. Just so I can get my frame rates back a little bit. Yes! There they go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> a perfect orchestra of destruction. That is a thing of beauty. Look at this. Look at this camera shot. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I hit it. I hit it. It's okay. <laughs> the school bus actually out in front here. Oh, man. Let's get a, a nice wide shot here. There we go. The school bus is just flying down this mountain, man. It's already at the bottom. Look at that. 
<laughs> Look at that. Is he going to make it to the ocean? It looks like he is. Wow. So all the uh, people are going to drown now as well. Okay. Here's one of the other cars. Where's the other one, though? Oh, here he comes. Coming in hot. I'm at 19 frames per second, baby. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> okay, maybe we should, uh, before my computer freezes, maybe we should get the bus out of here. But what should we um, replace it with? Uh, maybe, what else do we got here? We got a lot of cars here. We have a lot, I mean, a lot of cars. How about a Stig Edition Pigeon? I love these. So let's uh, replace that. And I'm actually going to spawn up another one of these. I'm going to clone. Oops. Get that back up in the air. What are you doing? I'm going to clone this. So then we have four total cars. Can can you, can you just work menu? Thank you. There we go. And it's going to spawn in the ground. Of course, that's fine. Uh, so we get this up in the air as well. Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Actually, I need a free camera here. There we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, we got one out in front here. Is the guy still in? Is the stick still in there? I can't actually tell. <laughs> oh, man. They just keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Are you going to be in... Like... Are you going to be okay in there, buddy? Jesus, no. Oh, one of them exploded. Dear God. Where's my other car? Here it is. There's always one that shows up a little bit late. But he's coming in hot. Wow, he, this guy ended up all the way over here. Are you all right in there, sir? Oh, that's his spine right there, I believe. <laughs> and he's on fire. So, safe to say that the Stig probably did not make it out of uh, that one. So, only thing left to do is add more cars. Why the heck not? Um, what should we add in? I think we need a kind of a, a larger vehicle here. Not too big, but not too small either. Maybe like a maybe like a Euro truck. Why the heck not? Screw it. Make it a cement mixer. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I my I think my computer can can handle it. All right, let's put this above these other cars so it'll probably squish them. <laughs> Why the heck not? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh. oh, man. All right, here they come. Here they come. Oh. They <laughs> kind of morphed together uh, a little bit, actually. Nice. Yeah, they are stuck together. Good God. What happened to the uh, the regular cars? There's one of them. There's the... Okay, there's the other one. Okay, let's get down to the beach. And just wait for everybody to come in hot. There we go. The cement mixer comes in first place, and then a stig, then a uh, both of the pest or the uh, sunburst, and then is he actually gonna make it? This guy. All these parts are beating him right now. He's just skidding really slowly. He's just chilling out. <laughs> I don't think he's actually gonna make it. Wait, it's a pretty steep bit right there. He might make it. Yes. Get to the beach, sir. There you go, buddy. He made it. He made it. All right, so let's check out the carnage here. Uh, dead. Uh, mega dead. Uh, drowned. So dead and dead and mega dead again. There's nothing left. <laughs> the, the, I guess the uh, moral of the story is don't drive your car off a mountain. Yeah, yeah, that 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 seems pretty uh pretty smart here actually. So let's let's spawn up a couple more here. Just for a, a big uh, finale. So why not just a Mazda Cosmo? Sure, why not? Okay, guys. So um, I may have gone a little bit overboard here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vehicles here. Uh, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a show. All right. So here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Let's actually slow down a little bit so we can see all the destruction. Oh, my God. God! Oh! <laughs> wow, okay, this is pretty, pretty crazy. So much destruction. <laughs> it never gets old. Here they come. Here they come. I already see fire. What's up? Oh, okay, we're at normal speed now. Good God, look at all the parts. 
<laughs> oh my sweet Jesus. Okay, let's get down to the beach before they do. Here they come. Coming in hot. Yes! There's the Mazda, I think. I can't really tell anymore. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, okay, we have made a pretty significant mess here, guys. Not gonna lie. And there's still parts falling. Oh, there's still two vehicles coming down. <laughs> oh, that's that's too good. That is too good. So, you know what? If you guys want to see more cliff action, which I think we all do, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Beam NG Drive. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. There's still pieces coming down. <laughs> Gee. Anyway, see you guys.